as the state budget is being hammered out, another area of need has to do with child care. Because across Wisconsin, parents are struggling to afford child care, with the average cost of infant care topping $12,000 a year. At the same time, child care providers are struggling to keep their doors open due to a shortage of staff. Because retaining early learning teachers with more pay only makes the care more expensive for already strapped parents. What a mess, and one that impacts our economy, already short on workers. The business model of childcare is broken. That's according to our next guest, Renee Ernsting, director of the Child Care Partnership Program, which represents counties in western Wisconsin. And Renee, thanks very much for being here. Thank you. So how critical is the shortage of child care teachers in western Wisconsin? Um, it is incredibly, I've never seen it quite as bad as it is. I've worked in um, childcare in this agency for 20 years um, and we regularly report, um, we do surveys and report that data on what we're seeing in the area. And last um, December we did a capacity survey and um, we had uh, people that were hiring in the past 12 months had hired 600 times, yet they still had 300 um, teaching positions open. And it's just so incredibly difficult to fill these positions, the low wages, the no benefits, those kind of problems. Um, we just can't keep a teacher in um, some of these classrooms um, and that leads us to the child care deserts that we're seeing because we have enough buildings perhaps in western Wisconsin for child care. We don't have the teachers in those classrooms and that's the, the shortage that we're seeing. So it, to that, the lack of teachers leaves mile-long kind of wait lists, I understand, uh, for some parents seeking child care. Is that the case there? We have um, wait lists that start when you are just thinking about having a child. Um, we're, we're recommending people start to call and get on wait lists before they're even pregnant. And that's um, something that's really been happening probably for the past three years almost in our area. Um, right now, in like I said, we surveyed back in December and we had 4,000 children in our 10 counties on wait lists. Wow. Um, it's just really a tough situation. Now you spoke... Um, for, Go, go ahead. I'm sorry, you spoke to the wages uh, for child care uh, teachers. Uh, across the state, the average is like 11 to $13 an hour. But meanwhile, providers don't dare pay more because they would have to pass that along to the parents. Is that right? That's the exact issue with the broken business model. You know, it, it, it's already unaffordable for families and it's just too difficult to raise rates because you know you're not going to be able to keep, those families are not gonna be able to sustain that kind of um, bill. Uh, yeah, we have a program right now that we're helping people that have fallen behind. Um, we could have given out over $97,000 in a very short period of time. We had so many people applying for that kind of assistance. Meanwhile, in May, federal money that was credited with keeping some 3,000 child care businesses open is being reduced. Uh, what then? Mm -hmm. Well, we're really concerned about that. We have people reporting that um, their prices for childcare will go up between 20 and 40 percent. I am very concerned that parents won't, be, won't will not be able to afford that. Um, you know, it will come down to, and what we're hearing from a lot of families that we're talking to is that one of the people will not be working anymore. And we already have a workforce crisis in every other industry. I'm talking to employers on a regular basis um, and workforce development agencies and things like that. So that is a real wall to hit here in Western Wisconsin where we will just not have workers if moms or dads are staying home to care for children. Meanwhile, on the ground uh, in daycare uh, businesses, there's kind of a major turnover of teachers all the time, is that right? That is the situation, and um, that is the other piece of this that's very scary to me as an early childhood professional. The amount of transitions that happen in children's lives, that's enough. Just going to childcare and transitioning to kindergarten and those types of things, we don't need transitions of teachers on a 
daily, weekly, monthly basis, that is so hard on the child um, and so hard on the family. So we're very concerned about the mental health um, ramifications of all of these transitions. Another thing of interest that I learned uh, while looking at this issue was that uh, 4K opportunities in public schools really ended up being injurious to the preschool population and those businesses. How so? Right, and I hate to say that because I'm a I'm a I'm a supporter of 4K. Um, but what really happened prior to the pandemic, when 4K really started to um, open up in all of the communities, those 4K families then go to the school district instead of going to childcare, and that's that business model that's broken, unfortunately, because you're not making any money with infant and toddler care. The, the ratios, which I don't want changed, are a four to one. And so four infants to one adult. So you're sustaining your business, but you're not making any money. You're really looking at, at the amount of money that's coming in on four-year-olds or three or four-year-olds because you can have over 20 of them in you know per, per teacher. And so that's really the situation is, is that it was kind of an unattended um, consequence hmm. in my opinion. So the state is launching a grant program that partners with businesses whose employees need child care. How important is that as some kind of a fix here? I feel that it's incredibly important and it's based on not just helping the family and helping the employer get the um, and the employee to be able to stay and retain them and be productive. Um, that's the first piece of it. But the other piece of it is that program, it's called Partner Up, and it pays um, what's called the true cost of care instead of market rate. So you mentioned market rate earlier as about $1,000 a month for an infant. Um, true cost of care is closer to $1,800 in my area. And so the Partner Up program puts um, the business um, buying the slot um, and then some grant money together, along with, in this new round of Partner Up, some of the family paying for the, the care. And the three of them then can afford the cost of care instead of the market rate. Me meanwhile, with uh, about half a minute left, what, what message do you have for state budget writers when it comes to helping the child care crisis in Wisconsin? I think that I'd like to say that um, this market is not going to fix itself. It is not one of those markets where we can just charge more. And so really looking at some sustainable um, help that will really help not just the economy in the sense of the childcare um, businesses, but the actual um, businesses out there that are just trying to retain and attract new um, workers. And so please look into the Partner Up program um, and yeah, the funding, increased funding would be a super support to uh, Western Wisconsin. All right, Renee Ernsting, thanks very much. Thank you.